morning dear friends in the last lecture we come to know the various operation of various working region of NP, uh, bipolar junction transistor the today's lecture we are going to learn about uh, what is the switching characteristics of bipolar junction transistor especially NPN transistor and what is mean by safe operating area and the types of safe operating area so let us go to the switching characteristics of the NPN transistor. So in this NPN, this right side it will show the circuit diagram which will explain the switching characteristics of the NPN transistor. See the circuit here. This base layer which is connect base terminal is connected to the P layer in, in this NPN transistor. So in order to make the conducting state or in order to make that bipolar junction, uh, junction transistor should be like a switch. With this base and emitter junction should be forward by us. So that we are giving base emitter junction for base terminal as positive with respect to emitter. Therefore, through the uh, uh, base resistance of RB. Then collector is connected to the power supply, DC supply through the, uh, through the collector resistance. So this is what the circuit diagram will be. Then if you see this switching characteristics, assume that the base voltage, base emitter voltage after the drops of um, resistive drops of the, the base terminal, the base emitter voltage will be VB. Assume the load resistance also resistive, not inductive or capacitive or anything, only the resistive load. So once we give this uh, supply like this, so here we are giving, now see the first green waveform of base emitter uh, voltage. One particular time we will, uh, this switch voltage will be positive, then some period this voltage will be zero, then again repeat the sequence. Positive some period, then zero and uh, positive. Why we have given here positive? Since this is NPN transistor, in order to make forward bias between the junction base and the emitter, in this terminal will be positive. So voltage will be positive. So with respect to the voltage, current will also resemble, uh, current, current waveform will also reflect with respect to base emitter voltage. See here current is increasing, then going to zero. Again, current is increasing. So the cycle is going on. So the, what is mean by switching time one, but already we have learned what is meant by switching time, one on period and one off period. Total time is called as total switching time or otherwise we will call it as reciprocal of switching frequency FSW. I hope this entire things I have explained. What is meant by TSW, what is meant by why this one by uh, switching frequency, this is on time, this is called as off time. So this both waveforms are very clear. Then once we give this forward bias, uh, forward bias current through this base terminal, cur collector current suddenly it will not increase. It will take some time. It will delay. Already the current is going, the leakage current will flow based on the previous switching, right? So the leakage current will flow. That current is called as collector emitter leakage current. So the small amount of leakage current will flow. What after particular time, collector current will start to increase. Collector emitter current will start to increase so that as this is increasing, current is increasing, the time period at which the increasing the collector current is called as rise time. So before that, before rise time, collector current it will take some time to increase. So that is called as delay time, TD. We have seen here, we can see here. This is delay time. Then after delay time, this collector current will start to increase. Therefore, this, uh, th th this is called as race time. So during the race time, see here, the voltage across the collector emitter will start to reduce. Voltage across the collector emitter will start to reduce. So how this start to reduce, already we know. If we have a switch, if the switches start to conduct, voltage across the switch will be zero, current flowing through the switch will be maximum. When the switch is open, voltage across switch will be maximum and current will be zero. Similarly, in ideal case. But 
in uh, practical cases small amount of leakage current will flow during on time then uh, no sorry during the uh, reverse pass condition non conducting state so small amount of current will flow then during off time there will be a small voltage drop across the collector emitter as well due to the current flowing through the leakage current there will be a small amount of voltage drop so now i hope you understand so now if we see here till this during this period rise time voltage will start to reduce voltage across collector to emitter will start to reduce and current will start to increase then it reaches the maximum value of collector saturated saturation current so this will be the maximum then so till this we give this switching off signal that means base current to zero this thyristor this uh, sorry this bipolar junction transistor will remains in the conducting state so that voltage across collector to emitter will be very less very less value 0.7 or very less leak value only so once so now if you see here what is mean by conduction time the total on time is nothing but delay time plus rise time plus this conduction period till this conduction period the total is called as total on time so on time is nothing but delay time rise time plus conduction period conduction time so total is called as on time so i hope you understand entirely what is mean by on time how why this current is increasing voltage is reducing then now at this instant we are making base current to zero so when we make this base current to zero but collector current it will not come immediately to zero it will delay some time so that is called as that delay time is called as storage time after storage time it this collector current will start to reduce as the collector current will start to increase reduce collector emitter voltage will start to rise so that means when it is going to be open circuit voltage across the switch will start to increase current will start to reduce so as here the previously current is increasing therefore we have mentioned it as rise time here the current is reducing so we will call it as fall time during the fall time collector emitter voltage will start to increase then what will happen again it will be remains in the off state till we switch on we still we give the positive current to the base till this it will be remains in the off state so this t not period is called it as off period so now off time is nothing but the storage time plus fall time and off uh, and this off period or off time so totally we will call it as off time so now we understood what is mean by on time so there will be a delay time rise time and the on period similarly what is mean by off time total off period off time there will be having a storage time plus fall time plus off period so that is called as the off off time so i hope you understand now then the same cycling will cyclic uh, process will be repeat based on the switching of the base current so if you from this you can understand gate bipolar junction transistor is controlled by base current base current so based on this on and uh, time period of the base current uh, on and off time we can control the current flowing through the collector to emitter as well then let us move uh, another one what is mean by delay time what is mean by rise time i already told you during the initial time before switching on before the collector current start to increase it will take some delay that is called as delay time so that delay time it is required to charge the base emitter capacitor to the voltage of 0.7 volt so during the delay time base emitter already once we have switch on this ib ib is positive this base emitter junction will be forward by us so it will be act like a diode so what will happen once the voltage will start to increase one particular time base emitter current base emitter junction will be forward by us as like diode 
since base emitter junction is pn junction similarly diode also pn junction so in this during this time the delay time this delay time is required to charge the base emitter capacitor or base emitter voltage to withstand the 0.7 volt then what is meant by rise time uh, uh, this storage time it will require to remove the store saturated charge from the base so once this charge is stored in the, during the conduction time charges will be stored in this in this uh, the base so to it will require to remove it then only it will withstand the uh, it will withstand the uh, forward breakover voltage right so for that it will it is required to remove the saturated charge from the base we require this uh, storage time i hope you understand now what is mean by rise time what is mean by delay time what is mean by so storage time and fault time so what on time is nothing but sum of delay time rise time and on period off time is nothing but sum of storage time fault time and the off period then let us go to the safe operating area of the uh, safe safe operating area of the bipolar junction transistor we will call we will call normally safe operate soa or soar then this safe why this safe operating area is important so if you take one square uh, for, for example if you have this collector current here this is the collector y axis is collector current and x axis will be voltage across collector to emitter normally it will be a square assume that in ideal cases it will be a square that means we cannot increase the collector current to the maximum value and voltage across collector to emitter should be the maximum value there is having some limitation so that area is called as safe operating area so safe operating in area means it is a specific operating area limit in which we have to increase the maximum value of collector current with respect to collector emitter voltage so this for the reliable operations normally this safe operating area is this especially essential and we have to be ensure it with the uh, data sheet of the bipolar junction transistor normally the safe operating area can be classified as forward base safe operating area and reverse base safe operating area so the forward base safe operating area we will call it as fbsoa and reverse base operating area we will call it as rbsoa so let us see the right side this is called as forward base operating area in this forward base safe operating area we will give forward bias by uh, base will be forward bias so the collector emitter current will flow right so now if you see here there is having different operating points a b c d e right so that for the safe operating area the temperature should be less than or equal to 25 degree celsius temperature should be less than or equal to 25 degree celsius right so in this afb operating area this ab operating area is called as maximum limit of continuous collector current maximum limit here we can see have 100 amps so the 100 amps only we can provide for maximum limit maximum current which can allow is 100 amps so then for example so for the voltage of 80 volt for the 80 volt we have to give maximum current of 100 ohms so then this bc region in this BC region in the sense if we increase base collector emitter voltage beyond 80 voltage with respect to that we should reduce the collector current so this region is BC so BC is nothing but when voltage collect voltage across collector to emitter increases above 800 volt collector current has to be reduced so that this is called there is based on the voltage of across collector to emitter we have to reduce the uh, collector current as well then if again base collector to emitter voltage further increases with the respect to that again we have to reduce the collector current see the cd is again reduces so when this reaches the collector emitter automatically collector current has to reduce further otherwise secondary breakdown will occur so the maximum limit of 
safe operating area will be A, B, B, C, C, D, D. So A, B is the maximum current for the maximum voltage of 80 volt. When this voltage collector current increases further, voltage across the collector emitter increases further, we have to reduce the collector current in order to avoid secondary breakdown. Right? So the limit to the secondary breakdown will be the CD and CDE. So the maximum voltage capacity will be in this CD re uh, DE region that is we have mentioned here 1000. Then second one as long as we are reducing the switching time pulse width of the base we are switching on switching off right. So the switching time if we reduce uh, see here initially the switching time will be 5 millisecond again reduces to 500 millisecond sorry microsecond then 100 microsecond 5 microsecond as long as we are increasing the pulse width the pulse width we are we are reducing the pulse width we are here automatically we have to increase the collector current we have to be increase that collector current is we keep on increasing i hope you understand as long as this pulse width is decreasing we are, their collector current is increasing collector current is increasing so in order to maintain the safe operating area uh, in order to play with this uh, bipolar junction area junction transistor in the safe operating area so uh, when we, when we use when we see the safe operating area we should consider all those aspects temperature switching time then increase in this uh, collector emitter voltage let us move to now the reverse safe operating area the reverse bias safe for base safe for operating area in this reverse base of safe for operating area what we have to do here the color as the base current is negatively increasing our safe operating area will reduce see here this one is safe base current is minus 5 amps so the safe operating area will be reduced then here the base current is minus 2 amps little bit increase safe operating area <coughs> similarly when the base current goes to zero safe operating area further increase so we, when we analyze this bipolar junction transistor you should understand how the switching will be how the on time how the off time how much will be the delay time how much will be the storage time rise time everything we should understand from the data sheet also the safe operating area what is mean be the what will be the forward base safe operating area and the reverse safe operating in reverse base safe operating area the last class we are going to learn the difference between bipolar junction transistor and the power diode thank you